Howdy YouTube, I got a ThinkPad T43 for five dollars. <laughs> I mean, the only problem with it is it didn't have any RAM and no hard drive. So I put in a SSD with a MSATA to IDE adapter and I guess I'm going to make a review of the T40 in the year of 2017, almost 2018. So uh, let's take a look at it. So uh, I'm going to do a quick overview of some of the necessary steps to get like a T43 running right in about 12 years, 13 years after it was made. It's almost, uh, it's made in 2005 and it's about uh, 2018. So well, the first thing I did is I replaced the thermal paste. Thermal paste can dry up, and it's just a good idea when the system's about 12 years old, so it does seem to run a little bit cooler now. And I also did some, I made the, I'd made some improvements on the system's weight. As you can tell, I lost some of the screws on the floor, which uh, does in fact make the T43 a bit lighter. This doesn't have the stock BIOS because the stock BIOS on the IBM T43 has a whitelist for hard drives, which sounds hard to believe, but you'll get error 2010 if you want to look that up. And with error 2010, you'll still be able to boot, but it'll give you a warning and it's kind of annoying. So I um, got a Windows uh, 7 ISO and put it on a like USB stick and I tried to install it and it didn't really like my MSATA drive adapter, so... Oh, God, okay. So, basically, I decided to just put it on the flash drive directly, and now I have this live Windows 7 drive, and I use that to install someone's custom, or, I guess, modified IBM BIOS off ThinkWiki. And with that, I don't get a 2010 error no more. You want to see it start up, I guess. Um, so, I guess one question you guys might be wondering is, how useful is the T43 now that it's 13-year-old uh, hardware almost? So, I'm just going to do a quick overview. I have it running what a kind of usual setup of i3... WM, Debian, and stuff like that. So I have it Christmas themed since it's, uh, you know, Christmas, I guess. And so uh, let's take a look at it. You have to install some non free firmware to get the uh, Wi Fi drivers working. I believe it's like uh, IWL 2100 or 2200 or something. But it's hooked up to Wi Fi. And um, let's take a look at a modern browser. So I'm going to start up Chromium and we'll go take a look at some sites. So I guess I'm just going to, oh yeah, I made a, I made a uh, Chan site, I guess, but it'll load stuff like that and 4chan just fine. In fact, Let's see if it'll load some more intensive sites, like YouTube. And also, we can try out the speakers on this, because I actually think they're better than the X60. Uh, maybe the X220. I, I don't know if it's... Okay, it is better than the X60, though. Maybe it's just because it's a T model. They're a little bit bigger, but... We'll go take a look at YouTube. So, it's actually playing it fine at 480p, so my guess is it uh, performs about the same as a uh, first generation Atom processor. I guess you can hear the fan spinning up a little bit. Uh, I guess we can check that right now. I can go to pass mark. It has a Pentium M CPU. Let me just try it to figure out which exact one it has. Okay, so Pentium M 1.73 gigahertz. Oh, 
Okay. So we'll start that up and go to ah, here. See what it gets as a pass mark score. Whopping 415. That's actually better than a lot of Penny and Fours. Hmm, let me let me just double check. I'm gonna do Penny and Four. I'm gonna go for the compare it to the Intel Extreme Edition. 3.4 gigahertz. Oh, benchmark. I don't know. I've kind of always wanted to have one of those house fires. You know, it's getting cold in the winter. I could get one of those. Warm my house with it. But anyways, the Pentium 4 3.4 gigahertz. It's 396. So I I guess we're beating it, of course, you know. I imagine there's a you know sample error rate or something. Oh, 204 samples. It's quite a bit. Maybe not. Um so, what else about this? Uh, okay, I mean, I don't think it can run a lot of games, but a lot of emulators will work fine. I have my doubts whether this could run, like, maybe it could run, like, some sort of version of, like, Autism Craft or something, or... But, uh, I don't know, all I have on here is, like, uh, an SNES emulator with, uh, Tetris 2. I uh, don't really know how to play Tetris 2, but uh, the audio and everything works, and this thing actually has a decent battery life. Uh, my guess would be around uh, two hours. So, you know, run stuff like this without a hitch. And, uh,. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. I don't really know how to play Tetris 2. I thought it was going to be Tetris, but it's not Tetris. I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, maybe like every three makes... What? Okay, whatever. But, um... Yeah, it uh, seems to work all right. Oh, and my favorite part is there's no Windows key. It's just Control and Alt. So, that's nice. Also, it has a track point, but that's like all think pads. And also, I feel like the keyboard's a little bit better than the uh, X220, just based on, uh, it's like, uh, I don't know, it just feels a little bit nicer. Maybe it's placebo. But, hmm. I guess that uh, sums it about up. This is my T43 ThinkPad. Have a happy holiday Christmas thing.